time I was going to share with you um, a shopping haul from Hobbycraft. Um, I've just popped there with my daughter who works there part time so she got 25% discount so that made a big difference and um, I just needed a few bits and pieces uh, and I'll show you what I got. So um, I found that when I'm sewing I could do with um, a, prop, a ruler sort of sturdy one so I got this um, wooden one and it's got um, centimeters and inches which is good and uh, it was five pounds but I got it for four something because I got the discount so that was that was well worth it um, I then I then got some of these I've seen people using them, they're like pegs to hold the material before instead of pins and um, I fancied trying them but wow, £8 just for 10 little pegs, so um, rather expensive but um, obviously it helped, um, it was only £7.50 for me because, um, no it was less than that because it was £8 for 10 so it's £6. Um, for the eight, so that was a bit better, but uh, they better they better not break <laughs> because uh, they were expensive. Um, then I got some, and I got some elastic, and I need this if I'm making Ben or Sienna, um, the, my two-year-old grandchildren, um, like a skirt or shorts. So that's for the waistband. Um, I also get, got some more iron-on interfacing, which you can never have too much, you know, when you need to stiffen up bits and pieces. So that's, that was handy. Um, I picked up some small elastic. I don't know if you can see, there's two bits in there. And that I was going to use to um, put round the crib here, that the cover I'm making for the crib. So, because it's a bit baggy here, so I was going to put some elastic just to gather it in a bit. So that was what I bought that for. Um, I'd also seen some, I wanted some of those pins with the flat heads. And I'm always dropping them on this carpet, my, my pins, and I can never see them. So I thought this way I'll be able to see, see the pins. And they were quite reasonable, if I remember. Uh, the interfacing was uh, £3.40 and I got it for £2.55. And the pins were... Ah, oh, pins. They were three pound normally, and I got them for two twenty five. So that wasn't too bad. Um, then they had um, I got some bias binding. So and they were one seventy each, and I got them for one pound twenty seven with the discount. And then the reels of cotton, and I got four um, cream coloured ones and four white ones. And they are 55p in Hobbycraft, which I think is a bargain. And um, I got them for even less. Uh, I can't see, was it four? I got them for, yeah, I got them instead. Oh, they were 50p. So I got them instead of um, two pound, I got them for one pound 50 for three. No, that can't be right. That can't be right. For four, that's it. Yeah, so I got one, it was sort of like buy three, get one free because um, of my daughter's discount. So that was handy and I thought you can never have too much thread. So, and then I got tempted. I'd seen um, this, because uh, I treated myself and it's arrived today and I'm going to do an unboxing later on tonight if I get a chance, um, to an overlocker. So, um, and I was watching this lady, I think it's Abby's Den. And she's got the same one and she was doing some um, tutorials on it and she had this mat that she sits the overlocker on and um, it's got pockets at the front for some of your tools and for the off cuts and also um, she's padded it so that when the overlocker sits on it it stops the noise it sort of makes us it's not so noisy and also she uses it as an ironing pad so um, I've ordered some padding, heat proof padding to go in and I wanted some material to make this, um, cover this pad and make the pockets. And I saw this and I was just gonna get half a meter to make that. But when I saw this fabric, I thought, you know, I'd love some cushions of this in our camper van. 
Um, and this is it. And what do you reckon? Look at those surfboard and camper vans. It's lovely, cheerful fabric. So I ended up buying a meter and it was eight pounds a meter, but with the discount, it made it six. So that was better, but it is good quality um, cotton and it will make a lovely pillow, lovely uh, cushion cushions for inside the camper. And it will be a nice uh, little mat. It'll be interesting for me to sit my overlocker on and um, we'll see how that goes. So I'll probably be showing you how I make that later date. So yeah, so all in all, I got nine pounds discount off of that lot. So I was well pleased with that. So lots of jobs to do. Um, and um, like I say, I've got to finish off the crib. Then I've still got some outdoor furniture I want to um, make some cushions for and a big canopy. And um, what else have I got to do? I've got some other fabric to make some bits and pieces. And of course I've got the overlocker. So I can't wait to use that as well. I might use it to finish off some of the seams on this. But yes, I'll see if I can figure out how to um, work it. So yes, yeah, so thank you very much for watching and uh, bye for now.